Hey YouTube, I wanted to do this special video for you guys to celebrate the one year anniversary of the PlayStation Vita. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I love about the PlayStation Vita. I'm gonna share with you the accessories and games that I have, and when I say games, I mean both digital and retail games for the Vita. And I also wanna go over a little bit about what I wanna see from the PlayStation Vita in the future. I really do love the PlayStation Vita. I think it's a great handheld. I mean, it feels good in your hands. It's nice and big. It has this beautiful five inch OLED screen, it has dual analog sticks. I mean, I'm not gonna get into all of the features or the external features of the PlayStation Vita because I already did review this handheld. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Um, but just know that it's been a year and I'm still impressed with the screen on this thing. I mean, it's really impressive whether you're playing a video game or watching a movie. I mean, everything that comes across the screen is just so crisp and clear and the colors are vibrant and they really do look good. Let's take a look at the operating system. Now, initially, I had some problems with the OS for the PlayStation Vita. Uh, it just didn't feel right. It felt a little clunky. It just... It just wasn't smooth at all, but thankfully Sony has put out multiple firmware updates and it's overall just helped the usability of the system. I mean, it really does work wonders now. You can totally tell the difference. One of the cool things that I love about the Vita is the fact that you can customize your screens, you know, so as you guys can see here, see here I've customized some of my menu screens. It's very easy to do and it's pretty cool. You know, you can switch them up every now and again. Um, also, I have to say one of the gripes that I had with the Vita or at least with the OS was the fact that you had to use the touch screen to navigate through some of these um, menus. And thankfully, through one of those firmware updates, Sony actually changed that. You can go into your settings and now you can use buttons to navigate through these menus. But I have to say, I've gotten used to the touch screen and I like it a lot. I think it's faster. It's just easier to do. You can scroll through and just, you know, click the, the bubble and your game or your app will come up. Another thing that I really enjoy about the PlayStation Vita is the PlayStation Store. I think it looks great. It's definitely an improvement over what we saw when the system first launched. I mean, the store is um, nicely organized. It's easy to find things. And it's just overall like an enjoyable experience. I check the PlayStation Store um, every Tuesday just to see what's new. You know, a lot of times I don't know what's coming out and it's good to just come on here and see what the new releases are or, you know, um, what new demos have hit. One of the firmware updates that Sony actually put out allowed you to, and I think this is pretty awesome, it allows you to play PlayStation 1 Classics on your Vita. Now, it took a while for this to happen, but it's finally happened and, you know, you got a nice variety of things to choose from. Another thing that I really appreciate that Sony did for the Vita was roll out PlayStation Plus on this handheld. Not only can you reap the benefits from the PlayStation 3 if you're a PlayStation Plus member, but you can also get awesome benefits um, for the Vita as well. And that's pretty awesome. You get free games, you get discounted games, um, exclusive stuff, you get discounts on avatars, free avatars, th free themes. I mean, there's just a lot of things that PlayStation Plus has to offer. And I'm glad to see that it's on, you know, this awesome handheld. So while I'm at it, I might as well share with you guys the digital games that I have for the PlayStation Vita. And we'll start off with, let's see here, MotorStorm RC. This is a really good RC racer and it's sponsored by Scion. And I have a Scion, so I might be a little biased, but I have fun with that. Super Stardust Delta, um, really good launch PlayStation Vita title, really good. The same thing can be said about Escape Plan, I spent a lot of time with this, had a lot of fun with it as well. Sound Shapes, one of my favorite games from 2012, really good platformer that focuses on music, just totally love it. Zen Pinball 2, an amazing pinball game love buying some of the tables. I have a PSP game here, Corpse Party. I also have Puddle, which I can't really get into. Um, I was thinking it would be a little bit like Fluidity for the Nintendo Wii, but it's not as good. So maybe I'll try to go back to that one of these days. 
Mutant Blobs, Blobs Attack. Really good downloadable title for the Vita. I have a PS1 classic game here, Threads of Fate. Let's see what else we have here. Retro City Rampage, was a, which is a cool 8-bit style Grand Theft Auto game. It definitely has a lot of personality. Fro Bisher says, wow, if you like WarioWare, you definitely, definitely need to try this out. It's so much fun. It uses all of the Vita um, functionalities. You know, you use the camera, you use the gyroscope, all that good stuff. Jet Set Radio, classic. We have Senmora here. And Dokoro which is a puzzle platformer. Not a lot of people know about that game, but it's pretty fun to play. Has a really cool visual art style. Reminds me of um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Have here Odd World Stranger's Wrath HD. And finally, Jetpack Joyride. I know, right? It's ridiculous, but it's just so addicting. I can't stop playing Jetpack Joyride. It's really fun to play. Let's take a look at the retail games that I have. First up is Mortal Kombat. It's a really good fighter. I do have Mortal Kombat on the Xbox 360, but this Vita version actually has all the DLC from the PlayStation 3 version, so I'm able to play as not only Freddy Krueger, but Kratos, and that's always a good time. Touch My Katamari. Um, you know, it's a good Katamari game. It definitely isn't as awesome as the PlayStation 2 Katamari games, but it's pretty good. Wipeout 2048. It's a really good racer. I mean, if you're into the Wipeout series, you'll definitely enjoy this one. Visually, it looks amazing. Unit 13 is the first shooter for the PlayStation Vita, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, this is made by Zipper Interactive, the same peeps that did the SOCOM games and I have to say this was a really good game I mean it didn't have a story mode or a campaign mode or anything like that but I thought the way that the missions were set up the mission structure was really well done and I like the fact that you can play in co-op Uncharted Golden Abyss is a game that I enjoyed believe it or not I know a lot of people don't like this game but I actually enjoyed it I wish it was a little bit Better. I wish it was more like the console versions, but it's about as close as you can get. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. I think this is a great game. Unfortunately, it didn't sell that well, but if you're looking for something similar to Smash Brothers, this is definitely the title for you. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Rayman Origins, as I've said before, is one of the best platformers I've played in years, and the fact that you can play it on the Vita is even better. The visuals in this game on that 5 inch OLED screen is just crazy. I feel like Resistance Burning Sky should get a little bit more credit than what it has been given. A lot of people dump on this game, um, but there's actually nothing wrong with it. Functionally, it works rather well. The controls work well. It's just that, I don't know, it just doesn't have that, that flair, that pizzazz, that you would expect from the PlayStation 3 games. Silent Hill Book of Memories is definitely what you would not expect from a Silent Hill game. This isn't survival horror, although it does have, you know, a little bit of that feel to it. It's more a dungeon crawler. Yeah. Um, DJ Max Technica Tune is a really good rhythm game. You should definitely check it out. Um, it's hard to find, but if you find it, definitely pick it up. It does have a little learning curve, but you know, it's worth it. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. I gave you guys a little insight on one of the games that's going to be in this month's monthly pickup video. I picked this up and from what I've played so far, it's a really good platformer. Persona 4 Golden is definitely my favorite PlayStation Vita game. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't count that because this is more or less like a remake. Um, and it's not even really a remake, it's just a port of a PlayStation 2 game. But it's amazing. Disgaea 3 Absence of Detention. This is another port, but this is a port of a PlayStation 3 game. And um, I haven't played it yet. It's still sealed. Gravity Rush was supposed to be a launch title, but it got lost in the shuffle and it didn't come out until the summer. Once I got my hands on it, I was so happy with what I played of it. Um, you know, I have to say the art style was just simply 
beautiful but the controls just didn't seem right they were a little too awkward for me little big planet ps vita is a great game great platformer if you're into the little big planet series definitely check this out this one is pretty cool it offers some new things that we haven't seen from the console version luminous electronic symphony is a game that i could not stop playing for months i mean when i first got the system that was basically the game that i played every chance that i could get wonderful puzzle game i mean it's awesome it has great music great music's in here and the visuals are phenomenal and then finally we have assassin's creed 3 liberation i have to say i haven't completed this game yet but i like the risk that they took with the game um you have a female assassin in new orleans you know it's just something different um i definitely want to get back to playing it but I don't know, the glitches and stuff kind of messed it up for me. Before I share with you guys the accessories that I have for the Vita, I do want to share two Vita games that are in my son's collection. Now he does have a Vita, he got it for his birthday which was in June and he plays the Vita almost every night before he goes to sleep. He really does enjoy this handheld. So I did want to show two of these games, one of which I've played. I bought both of these for him for Christmas. The first one is Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. And I know there's been a lot of negativity surrounding this game. I mean, it is a Call of Duty game, whatever. Um, and it does retail for $50, which is way more than what it should be you know retail for I think that's crazy to have a $50 Vita game um, but it's not bad it's not a horrible game at all it's basically just Call of Duty in the palm of your hands um, there really isn't a story or a campaign mode um, there's just missions and there's online and all that other good stuff it's not a bad game the other one is Need for Speed Most Wanted and I basically had to like hold my son down and rip this out of his hands because he plays this constantly he plays it online with his friends he really loves this game so I'm gonna try it out I borrowed it from him yesterday I'm gonna try it out tonight and if it's any good I'll definitely go out and buy my own version so we can play online together uh, but he's telling me that this is a really good version of the game now as far as accessories go, I only have two and this first one is basically what I got in the first edition bundle. It's the carrying case for the PlayStation Vita and I use this thing every single day. It's a really good case. Um, you know, it's there's lots of protection there. Um, it has this fake leather feel to it. But it really is useful. I pop my Vita in here um, if I want to put a couple games in there, even though I don't use this as much anymore. If I do want to throw some games in here, I can. Um, I can also throw like a cleaning cloth or something or a cable in there and pop it in my purse and I'm good to go. The other accessory that I have, I found at Best Buy for, I think it was like five or six bucks it was in the clearance bin it's basically a game case and those of you that have a Vita or if you've seen any videos on the PlayStation Vita you know how small these games are and I definitely don't want to lose any of my games so the games that I'm playing I usually put in um, this little game case and I put it inside of this carrying case and I'm set what do I want to see from the PlayStation Vita in the years to come? I'm, you know what? I'm not even going to say years to come. I'm going to say within the next year. What do I want to see from the PlayStation Vita? And I can answer that simply. I want to see more games. I want more software. And I want Sony to pay attention to this good thing that they have. You know, I feel like they're totally ignoring it. And, and that's not okay. You know, there's a lot of people out there like myself that enjoy playing portable games. And I think this is a fine piece of hardware. You know, it's, there's a lot of potential in the Vita. And I know it's hard when you know, a console or new console or a new handheld comes out. I know games stagger, you know, I know we aren't going to get all the good games at once. But Sony can at least give us some hints on what's coming. You know, I, I just want to know that there's this thing is going to be supported and I didn't waste my money. You know, I mean, within the next month or so, I can say there's only one PlayStation Vita game that I want, and that's coming out in April. And that's Soul Sacrifice. That game looks really really good and I can't wait to play it and after that I don't know what to get excited about until 
the fall hits when the new ease comes out the new ease game comes out in the fall and that's going to be awesome as well i just want sony to pay attention to this thing i want them to to just you know market it better and push it so that people can see all the potential that i see in this handheld so i'm going to stop this rant right here i could go on for days about this situation but i did want to do this video so that you guys could see my ps vita collection and you know i could give you my impressions on how i feel about this handheld one year later i want to thank all of you guys for watching this video and i'll check you next time